Mini blocks. Plays. Dude! It's one of the subway switch boxes. If the foot did this, they weren't using conventional weapons. No way a sword could cause this kind of damage. April, are you getting this? Yeah. And I'm picking up reports of destroyed switch boxes all throughout the subway system. Someone's deliberately sending the trains out of control. All right, guys. Time to get to work. Yeah, work. Dude. Hello and welcome to Mini Blocks Plays Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutants in Manhattan. I decided to jump back in and pick up exactly where we left off from last week. So this is stage two, the Rocksteady stage. And uh, I decided to go back to it because I feel like I didn't give it a fair shake. Or maybe I should just do a bit more coverage of it. Considering that I'm a turtle guy and everything. A new game and PlayStation. So here it is. Um, well, last week I decided to play the game and then dub over it with commentary. And then this week I decided to let's start the game and let's do uh, commentary real time as we play it. But... Um, because I'm still kind of getting to grips with the game and trying to figure it out and listen to what April's saying and find a way around. I found that the commentary really wasn't all that engaging, so I decided to screw it! Let's start again. Let me just talk over it and just edit it heavily. So this is stage two, which I think took me roughly about 40 minutes, 37, 40 minutes, something like that. I could tell you exactly, but I'm not going to. That would require looking at times and length of video. So yeah, I decided to just cut it down, trim it up, and just show you more or less how it all played out. Which was essentially, level started, and then uh, immediately my first task was to get this gold back off the uh, Foot Clan in the subway station. Uh, which you can see now I'm proceeding up to this bit, which is all about collecting uh, information from these terminals uh, to find out what the Foot Clan are planning. Uh, again. Heavily edited is an understatement. I cut out a lot of running around, fighting and things to try and make this a bit more punchier and to the point just so I can show you how it all played out. Uh, in stage one with the Bebop stage uh, in the city, it was, uh, I played that one twice. And if you watched last week, so I did explain why that was. Um, both times it was different. So at least this one is being uh, underground and therefore to me it feels like it's a little less open I guess it's more level based I'm not sure if all of these stages are randomized or not but I mean for instance I have to go stop the foot from stealing this gold bars um, get some information from a terminal save a pizza van which is what I'm doing now saving a pizza van and then the rest of it is just finding more information terminals until you find where Rocksteady is, and then you go fight Rocksteady. Me talking it through then makes it sound bad. I, I did have fun playing it. It is a fun game. Like I said, it, it's a shame because it plays well and it looks great. But, like, this is just, to me, it's typical Activision. It's Spider-Man 2 levels of just... Spider-Man game levels of just get stuff done and then just wait for the next one. It's not it's not concise, it's not thought out. It's just randomized events full of button mash combats and then uh, fight a boss. Which, you know, isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's just... I would just want something a bit more from Turtles. I'm hoping that this game sold well enough to actually give them leverage to do that because I'd be totally up for like a, a completely from the ground up you know, imagine like a Batman Arkham game that was Ninja Turtles. I mean, that would be awesome. You know, well, maybe a bit better than uh, Arkham Asylum was good. Well, they're all fun. I didn't play the latest game. Doesn't matter. So this was me predicting the pizza van, which is just a time limit. So you just got to survive and protect the van for, I don't know how long it was, three minutes or something like that. Again, heavily, heavily edited. I did find this bit was actually quite good. It's just a way of getting you back to where you started from in, in the uh, train station, but it actually put you on a moving train. Um, 
it looks good, it plays well, a bit different, you know, different enemy types. You can see here the rock guy and there's different variations of sizes of the rock guy with his big hammer. No idea really what's going on. <coughs> Why would I to fight on the train rather than in the train? Again, I don't know. I didn't pick this. I would have stayed inside, I would have sat down and maybe had first class, maybe a glass of cola. Who knows? I definitely wouldn't have decided to stand on top of it and fight people. But you know, this is Ninja Turtle, this is what they do. And that's a, that's completed as you can see. Just just button mash until everyone's dead. Again, I'm talking about it and it sounds quite negative. I had fun playing it. The game controls exceptionally well. It's it's a fun game to play. Um, traversal's quite good. I like I like gliding around on the rails, which is much easier to do in the underground than it was on top of the roofs. Um, but yeah, it's just random unnecessary events. I cut out an ambush. This bit was a pain in the ass though. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, you have to... Uh, there's three terminals, which took me a while to figure that one out. Uh, if you get the information, April can narrow down where Rocksteady is, which that opening cutscene you just saw with the, the purple bars across the, uh, the front of the door is exactly where Rocksteady is. So... I could have guessed that without finding these uh, information terminals, but you need to deactivate them to get through the door. Oh, that little bit there was me putting down a turret and a mouse that bit my foot or something, attacked my foot, and I dropped the turret and that's it. I saved up, I got my turret, and then because my uh, placing was interrupted, I uh, I couldn't get it anywhere. Which is a bit brutal, it's like playing Spider-Man vs. the Kingpin. Big Hammer Guy uh, started to take his toll. I mean, this is quite a way into the fight. I was battling all kinds of different things to get to this stage. Literally, I have edited a good six, seven minutes out of just trying to get this one terminal down. Um, everyone else but Michelangelo has been defeated by Big Hammer Guy and mostly the trains. Because it's a little bit other go. That's me getting defeated by the train. Although I am quite pleased of being able to uh, navigate to the other end of this map based on getting hit by trains. As you can see, I just did that. And then Raphael's back, and Donatello, and Leonardo. So it must just be a time thing before your turtle brothers get resurrected from eating pizza, no doubt, with Master Splinter after evaporating through the floor. I know, again, I'm standing negative. I, I, I do enjoy playing the game. Um, I did find this to be a bit of a bore. This is the end of Rock Guy, which is uh, a nice group combo we did, which worked out quite well. Um, you know, you, you've got to, as you can see here, you've just got to hold down the button and then hopefully your brothers, or you know, if, if you're not holding the button down, protect your brother whilst uh, the disarming the terminal or finding information from the terminal. Um, it did take me a little while to realize there was more than one which I can clearly see now on the screen, it says one out of three. And you get a time limit to do it in. So that's it, That's uh, all of those objectives completed. I feel like if I played this through again, um, I might get different objectives to do until you just get to Rocksteady, which again, funny enough, is behind that door, which you didn't really need terminals for. for information to find out where it's based. I'll just... Uh, as it was with Bebop, I'll just let this uh, cinematic take over because it was. I'll get back to you in a second. You can make up your own mind. Say your prayers, Toidle. That's it. I'm never taking the subway so far, I've only done the two stages, so I've only met Bebop and now Rocksteady, but like, both of those introduction cinematics for the villain, the boss battle is, uh, both have been pretty terrifying. I think Rocksteady is more terrifying than Bebop, and then Bebop was also pretty terrifying, but seeing a giant rhino with yellow eyes as he smashes his way through a train, that was, I think that was super effective, you know? Platinum's done a really good job with the character models and with the, the design of the game. And, uh, you know, they put some thought into it. Not so much thought into... I guess they made the combat fun, but I mean... You know, there's no... There's no skill involved in this. You just 
swapping in and out of turtles and hitting the special buttons until he's dead. Fundamentally, that's how the game plays. Um, I did find it to be a little, like I said, too fast and chaotic to try and play and speak. So I feel like more modern games, maybe I'm better off just doing it this way, just capturing footage and talking over it. Um, I'm looking forward to going back to some old Sega games though, because I think that's, that's kind of the basis of what I wanted to play. It's just Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You know, it's clearly a thing, and it's a brand new game that's out. I want to get involved in it. And it doesn't make sense for me not to cover it on my channel. Um, I don't know if it's just because I, was, I feel it's more down to the fact that I had, again, 40 odd minutes of footage. I've gone through it and gone through it and gone through it. And, you know, every time I've tried to narrow it down, the boss battle is the only one thing I haven't edited. So I thought I'd just put it up as it was. I managed to get past Rocksteady in one go. Sorry, that's spoilers for my own video. <coughs> I didn't understand quite what was going on there. I think it's a special uh, move of uh, the decoy Michelangelo. But yeah, so I don't know if it's just because I had to troll through the same footage and I think when you're trying to make a good video, uh, for me anyway, I like to try and get something that's interesting and I think the cutscenes are interesting and little in-between bits are interesting, but the main function of the game is just endlessly running for something and then uh, just button mashing through different villains until you get to the next stage, to the next, you know, mindless objective to then button mash a bit more. I think, you know, eventually I just got, I feel bored of it, you know, I feel fed up of doing it. So I think my fatigue is more based on the fact that I've played the game and then edited the game uh, to get the video out of it that's kind of made me feel a bit bored of playing it currently. Um, I definitely think that if you're interested in picking it up, you should probably just pick it up because it's Turtles, it's got, you know, the voice acting's fine, the design of the game's fine, it plays well. It's just a shame that the main core of the gameplay objective gets excessively repetitive. And this is the, the end of Rockstep. So yeah, Rocksteady was easier than Bebop, which I wasn't expecting, but um, I managed to get through him in one go, as Bebop did take a, a number of goes to get past him. That could just be that I've got a bit better at playing the game, don't really know. Again, I'm enjoying it, so if you're interested, you should definitely pick it up, but I'm getting a little bit tedious of it, but I think that is more down to the fact that I've got to jump back into the footage multiple times to try and edit some sort of concise narrative out of it. Um, Next week, I'm probably going to jump back into a Sega game. Not sure which one yet, but it's going to be retro, which is the whole point of Miniblocks Plays. Sorry about spoiling your fun, Horn Dome, but ain't you a little too big to be playing with trains? Fun? Ha! You stupid turtles ain't seen nothing yet! Nah, chumps. The fun's just getting started. What the? Where'd he go? Whoa! Just like a cute magician's bunny. Except, you know, he's a big, ugly, psychopathic rhino, dude. What did the big psycho mean by just getting started? No time for that now. We've got our own train to catch. Thank you very much for watching, and make sure to hit that subscribe button down below to stay up with the latest from my channel. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest under Mini Blocks. What else would it be? And if you're interested in seeing me face Bebop, then make sure to go tune in to last week's Mini Blocks plays. And prior to that, you can go find five Mini Blocks plays with me. Battling some of Spider-Man's greatest villains in Spider-Man vs. the Kingpin on the Sega Master System. Again, if you want to see me play more of Ninja Turtles, then let me know! And I can maybe throw out a few more Let's Plays or different boss battles or some kind of compilation of stuff. But until then, make sure to keep it locked to Mini Blocks. <laughs>